Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Come back now. Let's take a look again in the gold market. So in the gold market, everything mostly goes with our trading plan. So as we yesterday suggested, it might be our prediction. First target that we have specified has has been completed very accurately. As you will see on lower time frames. And here, actually, I don't have any questions to the current performance. Nominal trend stands bullish. Uh, we have talked about this yesterday, and now daily trend direction agrees with the directional weekly pattern which is a bullish grubber grubber itself suggests an action somewhere at the 20 29 area above the stop which actually means that uh well this will be 21 roughly so if market taken out of this stop it's obviously will keep going higher and uh should try to reach 21 or maybe it will be even direct upward continuation we will see but for now context remains bullish uh, currently, we s we suggest that uh, it might be some geopolitical background in the current performance, because if we take a look uh, on the yields, they are dropping together with our prediction on the dollar index. On the dollar index, we've got the bullish grabber. This is important detail. We will discuss it a bit later, um, because it make impact it could make impact on the nearest performance in the gold. But it suggests the upper direction here. Usually, gold rises with the dollar, dollar together on the background of the falling yields, only on the geopolitical tensions, on the geopolitical factor rising. So, it might be that recent jump on the gold is not only the product of a jolt report, uh, as you know, probably it, it has shown a really big jump in employment, it's approximately 25 uh, to 155,000. It was significantly higher than the market expected. And uh, that might be supportive for the gold just because it's just early rate cut or at least by the meaning of the investors, um, by the opinion of the market and should make pressure on uh, interest rates. So this might be also a result of this jolt report, but I suppose that it also might be the some geopolitical background here as well because dollar has raised so usually uh, when the yields dropping doll dollar is also moving lower so uh, on the lower time frames on the fall time frame chart you could see what has happened market has challenged this area and actually has broken it up about this confluence yes it was not able to stay there uh, but it might be explained that uh, target might be has been completed now we need to see what will happen after that in the first glance we have nicely looking bearish engulfing pattern that increases two leg reaction to the downside increases chances i mean on the two leg reaction to the downside so it might be some kind of the abcd pattern also investors could just decrease activity before jerome powell statement and common perils report so that may, may could make impact on the decisive meaning on the gold market as well but if we will see that market stubbornness stands around this area without any significant dropping, this will be definitely bullish. And uh, we will see. I, I have marked here this candle as a grubber because we do not have it on the comics features. So I have it on the retail broker chart as a fixed choice on this candle. But I do not have it on uh, futures chart. Besides it's not very important just because take a look the local top stands right there and actually market already mostly challenged it so this minimal target of this grabber not this one so probably this is not really big deal anyway um by looking at lower time frames here is actually everything goes theoretically correct so we have our prediction we said this will be op 2047 it has been hit very accurately resistance area has been broken you could probably find here some kind of the butterfly as well as 127 extension somewhere in this area now market shows instance in a retracement this area seems very strong so we can see the 20 30 confidence support and the former trend line that's already has been broken and here at this point 
it is difficult to say definitely whether the market will, will be able to stay above this area or it will show a kind of the ABCD retracement based on the engulfing right to the 2020. Actually, we talked about this yesterday. If you remember, we discussed also chances for appearing in the hand and shoulders here. But you can see this loss has not been formed, so market directly has shown the upper breakout. This once again uh, leads us to our discussion of entry options. So many times we already saw that the splitting of the position and taking position in parts works very often better than trying to catch the precise bottom or top for a position taken. So if you have taken some fraction of your trading lot somewhere where we have talked about this in this area, uh, now you should get nice result on this upper performance. So uh, that's why let's keep watching. Once again, as I said, you could split your position. So market now stands in strong area. Who knows? It could start up prediction. Uh, if you still believe that it will be deep action, no problem. You could wait for the clear ABC retracement. This is choices up to you. But for now, we could say that we do not consider taking any shorts, except maybe if you're a scalp trader, you trade on the five minute chart. Maybe here you will get some garbage people to sell with the ability to sell with a down reaction or something of this kind. But this is too slow, too, too low time frame for us. Uh, we are watching for mostly high time frames. And we consider mostly and have bullish context. We're considering taking on only long positions. So uh, speaking about the current situation, I would say the chances on the retracement exist. This might be deeper, but currently market stands too dependable on uh, external factors. Once again, the Fed statement and common payrolls, depending on what numbers we will get. Um, that's why here is you have to decide whether you once again split your position taking minor longs around this area or you will be you will wait for a clarity whether this will deep retracement will happen or you will be waiting for a data release before making solution and decision. So uh, that's what we have. But the comp the context stands bullish. Now, now this question on uh, where to take the new position, how deep the reaction will be. So. Mm, that's all actually for today gold update let's see what will happen